Hello everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 3.10 of the second grade Go Math textbook, which starts on page 157, we're going to be working with problem solving and we're going to, the concept is equal groups. And so we're going to talk about an act, um, activity called how can acting it out help when solving a problem about equal groups. Now when I say acting it out, I don't mean like in a play and you have a role to play. Um, basically what I'm talking about is just that we're going to use things like counters and physically um, manipulate the counters to solve our problem. So let's look at this. Okay, you will need something to use as counters. If you have the yellow and red counters, you can use those. But really you can use anything as a counter. You can use coins, you can use beans. Um, I'm going to use Cheerios myself. So anything. Okay. Theo put his five stickers, well, put his five stickers. Theo put his stickers in five rows. There are two stickers in each row. How many stickers does Theo have? So what do I need to find? Well, that's the question we underline, right? And so how many stickers Theo has, right? And what information have, do I need to use? Well, he says that he has five rows and he's going to put two stickers in each row. So I need to know that he's going to use five rows and he's going to put two stickers in each row. Now, so rows go left to right, up and down. Okay, so here's one row of two. Okay, if I want to add another row of two, I'm going to go below it. Now I have two rows of two. And I'm going to keep adding to my rows of two until I have five rows. So three, four, and we need one more row of two. Okay. So I have five rows of two. Now if you didn't have counters, we could even draw it, right? One, two, three four, five rows, and there's two in each row. So what is, how do we solve our problem? Well, we could say two plus two plus two plus two plus two, right? We have five groups of two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So he has ten stickers. Could you have said five plus five? Yeah, we could have. Okay. But we are showing five rows of two, so we would go ahead and repeat the five twos. All right, so now let's look at page 158. So Maria put all of her postcards, postcards in six rows. There are two postcards in each row, and how many postcards does Maria have? Okay, so that's what we need to find out, right? How many postcards does Maria have? Well, I need to know that she has six rows, and that she's going to put two postcards in each row. Well, that's very similar to the last problem, right? Except the last problem only had five rows. So well, there's our five rows again, so we need to add one more row of two. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here at the top. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of two. Okay, and so what does that represent? It represents two added six times. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So Maria has twelve postcards. Could we have done six plus six? Technically. But again, we're doing six rows of two. All right, Jamal puts two, two toys in each box. How many toys will he put in eight boxes? So he has eight boxes, and he's going to put two toys in each box. 
It's the same thing we've been working with, right? We're putting in groups of two. So there's four groups. Five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight groups of two, eight rows of two. Okay. So what problem would, re would be represented by repeating two eight times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're adding eight, we're repeating. Two is being repeatedly added eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16 toys. Right, let's look at page 159. All right, act out the problem. Draw to show what you did. Mr. Fulton puts two bananas on each tray. How many bananas are on six trays? Six trays, two bananas on each tray. That'd be six groups of two, right? Two groups of two. Three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two. Okay, so so we're doing what? We're adding two six times. And we can skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So twelve bananas are on six trays. If you have two bananas on each tray. All right, there are seven rows of apples. There are two apples in each row. How many apples are there? Seven rows, two apples in each row. So we can act that out by using counters. And we're going to have seven groups of two. And six, and one more. Okay. So what do we um, set out? We've got seven rows of two. which translates to two plus two plus two, so on, seven times. Two, four, six, seven, okay? So we have seven twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. 14 apples. Right, there are four plates. Dexter puts two grapes on each plate. Then he puts two grapes on each of six more plates. How many grapes does he put on the plates? Okay, so this looks like it's a two-step problem, right? Because he has two plates. I'm sorry, he has uh, two situations. So he has four plates in which he puts two grapes. So let's go ahead and do that. So these represent my four plates of two. All right. Then it says he puts two grapes on each of six more plates. All right. So now we need another six groups of two. All right. That's four groups of two. Five groups of two and six groups of two. So how many grapes does he put in all? Well, I can count 
by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. He's using 20 grapes. So what is the math problem? We have two plus two plus two plus two plus one, two, three, four, five, six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we had 10 twos this time, four plates of two and six plates of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plates, and ten sets of two is twenty. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Okay. Page one sixty. Make connections. All right, Angela used these counters to act out a problem. Write a problem about equal groups that Angela could have modeled with these counters. Well, let's see how many groups of two she has. She has one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Well, maybe she had something like this. So maybe Angela put two cookies on each of five plates. What would be the question? How many cookies did she put on the plates? How many cookies did she place in all? Okay. And then it would have been two plus two plus two plus two plus two for a group of 10. All right, finally, number seven. Max and eight friends get books from the library. Each person gets two books. All right, how, draw a picture to show the groups of book. Max and eight friends, so that's nine, right? And each person gets two books. So that's one person, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine groups of two. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 18 books, okay? All right, so that's basically it for the idea of acting out, okay? So basically, again, it just means using some physical type of counter to illustrate your problem. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.